welcome back. This is Yusaki Kulu here in Tokyo. And yeah, I just woke up and I just saw some great news. I got three emails from Apple. Your app is under review, your app is being approved, and you need to click here to release it. So, because <laughs> I set up manual release. Uh, I click on release and now it's rolling to all the servers around the world on the Apple stores. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit, a little bit to get to Japan, but it's already all available on the App Store in Japan. Uh, maybe it's not gonna appear in searches, like if you search for the actual name, it maybe it's not gonna show. I didn't show at the beginning for me. Maybe it's because I don't have ratings enough, or maybe just still not in the database, or something like that. I don't know. But um, I, I'm gonna put a link on the description down here, and everybody can download it. It's a free app. Like it, I made it free for you guys. It's a free app. And it doesn't have any banners. It doesn't collect no information of you, uh, your location or your name or your password or not even how long you've been using the app. Like I don't collect none of that information at all. It's the app. It's on your device. It connects with your thing. And that's just your stuff. Uh, and I don't, I don't touch none of the, your system or nothing. It's an app that it's, it's just meant for you to use it with, with the external device. And this device, of course, doesn't connect, collect any data or anything. It's just a little trigger. Um, and it's just for you guys to be able to shoot the camera with your iOS devices. Um, that it's, it's incredible. Like I did it for myself. I, I was using it. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Because somebody, uh, when I show the first. Uh, version that I had I showed it on the other apartment where I was living it was a block it had a switch three lights it was looking cool it had the charger and adapt and stuff like that but you guys wanted one right so uh, I said this is probably like a year ago I don't know I said to myself like I need to you know be able to give them this I cannot just be showing like oh look what I can do that like, you can't you know it sucks so I decided to go ahead the route of making it for uh, available, but I didn't want it to send what you what, what I had. And, and some of you guys were like, yeah, just send me that. It's fine. You know, it's, I know that it's not going to be like, yeah, but I didn't want it to break on you. Because look at this. This is the circuit. See that mess of cables? Oh, hold on. See this? <laughs> That is the app. That that is the the device. You see, it had a, a very plasticky module and Arduino and chip, and it had a bunch of things. And this is just half of it. And under here, there's like some more connectors and resistances. So I destroyed my own one to be able to to figure out how did I build it because I just did it one time. <laughs> <laughs> it just worked and I just packed it and uh, I destroyed it to see exactly where the, the lines go up I cannot use that thing anymore um, I'm over here with you guys and I made this little guy just as a sample and I like that the batteries are outside right now some of you may not dig that but I like that you know you don't have to open the device to, to change nothing inside because you will have to change batteries one question that I've been receiving a lot is that if it's going to be available for Android, if I'm going to develop for Android and Android this and Android that, you know what, simple answer, no, I'm not going to do it. I already got two devices here, I borrowed them from friends and I had to return them, they are not with me anymore. And when I wrote the code to connect to the device, everything in the code was perfect. Everything was like, yes, you have to be able to see the, the device, you have to be able to connect to the device, and you should be able to connect it. I, you know, I Google, I look for help, I ask people, everyone agreed that this is the code that I need, at least the basic code that I need to be able to connect to the device, that it didn't work. And it's not because my code was wrong, it's not because the device was wrong, it's just that that specific type of Android was not compatible with this specific type of Bluetooth. So, you know what, and the other one did connect, but it didn't send any signals. So, yeah, you know what, it's it's really annoying because Androids don't have all of them. They're not updated to the same version. They're like everywhere, all over the place. New iOS, uh, a new OS for the Android only means that like only like 4% of the phones act, are actually on that version of the OS. 
the other people is on earlier earlier version of the OS and they cannot update because their phone is too old or whatever. It's a mess, really. I don't like to develop for Android. It's insecure and it's, it's not fun for me to do. I have it running over here on my iPhone XS Max, which is the, the, the latest one, the biggest one. Um, and it works fine here. And I also have it on a very old model. There it is on the App Store. And I'm just gonna click open it because I already downloaded. There is it. It works on the iPhone 6, which is like many, many generations back. If I would try to sell this phone, I can only get like 20 bucks or 30 bucks for this phone because it's how old it is. It's super old. And it still works and it connects and it triggers the camera. It's 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 all fine. So you can get a ch super cheap iPhone and still work with it. I think you can still use the 5S as well. For now, uh, I need to know how many people want one. <laughs> I, I, the app is up there. They are available to whoever wants one. So uh, I'm not a big company. I'm, I'm not even a company. <laughs> like really, I'm not just a dude in a little closet in Tokyo and like. And I'm making it out of my my place. Like I have like all the electronic parts there, and I just make them over here while I'm working. So. Uh, it's not a huge production. This is it. <laughs> this is what you what you. This is what I have to to be work with. Um, there's a lot of tests and, and failures here, but uh, I wanted to deliver at, at least a semi decent product. I'm doing my best. Uh, my next step probably is, will be to do the connector. Right now the connector is just uh, you know taped like that. It works. It has been working. This is the one that I use since like three years ago when I make the first version it, it works like fine like that it doesn't have nothing but <laughs> I don't think you guys want to get like uh, you know electrical tape on a connector made out of electrical tape so I'll try to figure something else I know I, I know I can come up with an idea or something so let's jump into the like a basic little tutorial of how to use every single thing of the app and how it's it should be working <laughs> All right, so here's the app on the App Store. And as you can see, I already downloaded, but I deleted it for, to show you guys something. So you, in the App Store, you can actually see over here the description, which shows everything that the app can do. It shows the cameras that are uh, compatible. And it's just one screen over here. So let's go ahead and download it. There you go, open. Of course, maybe you guys have to put your password and stuff like that, but you can just open it. There we go. Once you start the app, it's gonna ask you over here if you wanna enable Bluetooth. And it says over here, the app uses Bluetooth to connect to and share information with your accessories and other Apple devices. This is not what I wrote um, on the code. I, I specifically wrote over here that the, the app needs to connect to the, to the device. I, I do not share any information. I do not connect to other Apple devices and stuff like that. I just connect to this little guy. So anyway, just hit okay, because we need the Bluetooth to connect to this thing. As soon as this thing is connected, uh, you will see, uh, uh, turn on, you will see that over here it turns on. So there you go, I put power here and it connected and it shows the battery level. So <clears throat> this battery level is a little check that does, you know, eventually it does, it's not continuously trying to ask how many battery you have, it, it asks a couple of seconds. Um, so yeah, if you see it going down, maybe it's like one, two left you will need to start replacing the battery like right away because the battery drain these cr2 batteries they drain in a very very deep speed so when it works it works when it starts to lose battery you should really immediately just change it because the, the depletion will be really fast at the end and um even that you have like maybe one dot here it may not be able to trigger the camera anymore because the battery is just too low to power this the the trigger so yeah, just to keep check, check that in mind, always carry some extra batteries. And you know, just just keep a couple with your with your camera bag or something like that. They're really cheap. I I I got these ones at like three dollars for like ten of these batteries. So yeah, it's just it's just easy to change. Now it's not necessarily gonna look like this at the end. I'm not sure about this battery outside. I do like it, but I'm not sure if it's okay or not. Anyway, so the, this thing is connected to over here and let's go ahead and do all the modes that we have. So on this app, you will see that I have three buttons up here and a number. 
So these buttons will, you know, just change this over here. This doesn't connect with to anything. It's just for you to keep track of your your shots. By default, it starts with 10 pictures because that's usually how many pictures you get with the film, with the film back. So it usually just starts with 10 if, if you want. It goes up and you can long press over here to make it go down. You can see the triangle goes down down there. If you press over here, you, you get one more. If you long press, you get, you know, a little faster. So there you go, 10 going down. And if you press this middle one, it goes to zero. So yeah, let's go ahead and do 10. And if you long press, obviously it changes this thing. This is the only thing. It's just for you to have a little display. Uh, it's, nothing, it's not connecting with the camera. If the camera, you know, the cable was loose and it didn't connect, it doesn't matter. It will still count over here. So it's not like communicating with the camera in, in any weird ways like that. It's just, it's just for you to keep, you know, tr uh, try to keep track of, of your of shoots. Uh, over here is the setups display. And uh, yeah, you can see this thing comes and goes because <laughs> uh, when it checks it, it updates over here. But if you do something else, it would like trigger some other type of updates. Anyways, so uh, over here you have, um, yeah, this is the display over here. And over here you have your controls. So this one will change into B mode, like that, on B mode, out B mode. And this is the trigger, of course. And this is your, you know, your seconds. When you move this thing, you will, you will feel a, a tactic feedback if your device supports that. So let's do with the basic one. There is no bulb, no bulb mode and zero seconds over here. And now we're gonna trigger a shot. It, you should see some light turn on here and this is needed uh, because I don't wanna burn the device. So I need to put either a resistance or a LED. I decided to go for an LED just for the giggles. But it's not that bright. I mean, you can see the light, but it's not, you know, I'm going to diffuse it somehow. So it's connected over here. It's wireless, of course. And let's go ahead and trigger a shot. And you saw that light. It doesn't really, like, glow over here. It's not super strong. Oh, gosh. I disconnected over here and put it too much on the side. There you go. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do a shot, a simple shot. There you go. Trigger the shot. Now let's do a countdown shoot over here. Countdown 11 seconds. And now over here, we, we, can, we can set it up to maybe 125 and 11 seconds. So there we go. We're going to start over here. 10, 9, 8, 7. You can go to the background. You can maybe open Instagram. Maybe you can open Facebook and it will still be counting down and triggering automatically over there. So you can actually use it on, on background mode. This is a super difficult to do, but I managed to do it. So it is, it is pretty good. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there we go. You see, it's it's pretty accurate. I will not have like many apps running on the background because that may you know freak it out. But yeah, that's that's how it works. Now let's go to the fun one, B mode. On B mode, of course, you will need to have your camera set up on B mode because otherwise it will send the trigger signal and we'll just take one picture and be done with it. So let's go ahead and put it on B mode over here. And uh, now that we're on B mode, let's go ahead and do 11, which is a uh, bulk mode, 11 seconds predefined exposure. And that would, as you can see, the it keeps the, it keeps the exposure happening over here. And it finished right at, you know, when 11 seconds is done. Let's go ahead and make it a little smaller one. Six seconds over here. You can see five, four, three, two. And yeah, that was pretty, pretty nice. So you can do automatic exposures over there. Oh gosh, I keep, I keep pressing this. So you can do automatic exposures over there. You can do it all the way up to one minute. And let's go ahead and see what, how, what, what happens in one minute. So as you can see, it's not like completely, completely bright. I, I kind of diffuse this thing a lot. So you can see the, the light, but it's not like super glow that is going to affect your images. Of course, you can put it back or you can cover this and you can see there's no, no lighting affecting of these little dots over here. So there you go, 35, 35. 
once I made it one second okay uh, one minute okay so if you uh, know the RC if you have played with it and do long exposures you know that at 55 seconds is gonna throw a constant beep uh, telling you that it's like four, four or five seconds left and then it would automatically the camera would automatically turn off the exposure and of course this thing is counting so this thing will uh, also uh, there you go it would also tell you that it's about to be done and there you go camera finished this this finished as well so now the last one will be a manual bulb mode you go all the way to zero on B mode and it says manual bulb mode so you can figure an exposure over here of course it's gonna limit you for 60 seconds and it's gonna automatically end this, this shoot at 60 seconds but as you can see the exposure is being done right now there is no one there activating and let's stop it at maybe 20 seconds this of course works in background mode 19 20 there we go and there you go that's an exposure mode so you have the manual b mode you can predefine some time to do an exposure for that you can to get out of b mode and trigger a, a direct shoot or you can trigger a one shoot after you know a countdown that has happened so that's pretty much it obviously you will have over here your counter that it's uh, you know counting your pictures up and down and this is pretty much how the app works um, things to consider you know get extra batteries uh, keep an keep an eye on this you know if it disappears or come back or whatever it's just because it's trying to check it it's, it's trying to get new information from this sometimes when you move some those, some of these things uh, will disappear. I will fix that, you know, but as soon as it checks it, it will see it. As soon as you see that it's going down, maybe two bars, uh, two bars maybe still uh, still works. It will go down three bars, and then this thing will start, you know, not having enough power to, to trigger the camera. And then there is a red outline bar, which is like batteries is just completely dead. It's still working. You can still, you know, get the batteries and use it for other things, but, um, but it's not powerful enough to, to trigger the camera and uh, the completely gray out batteries when you disconnect it so when you disconnect as you can see in there it says disconnected and it turns out gray so yeah um let me know what you guys think and i look forward to hearing your feedback so this is how it works i uh, hope it's been helpful and i hope it's not been that long as you usually make the videos so that will be the app and <laughs> yeah there it is i'm super excited i want to see you guys you seeing it already like i can't wait to see i want to see some pictures like if you guys want to send me pictures on facebook or instagram or whatever and um, yeah probably i'm not gonna make a video of the pictures that you know people have been taking with this device um, i mean it's, it's it's a simple thing but i think it was something that it was needed on the on the rc community because it was uh, just a little piece that was missing the rc does have a, a trigger that works with er and the only thing you can do with that is just take the picture and that's it i don't think you can do it in low exposures with it but it's just like push and send the picture to take the picture that's it and um, yeah with this one you can do pre-time ones you can do countdown ones and i have many other you know ideas that i i want to start working on now that the device is, is out there um everything for me is just to work with the app so i can do modifications to the app and the device will have like new ways to shoot uh, everything will be based on the timing and whatever but um yeah uh, I need to work on an Apple Watch one as well uh, for you know the few people that has an Apple Watch. If you haven't got one, get one because <laughs> it's gonna be fun, you know, showing the people you, you can control your camera with your watch. That's so crazy. All thanks to this little device over here, the RZ Blue module. It will look different than this, uh, probably. <laughs> Maybe it's gonna be more smaller than this because. Uh, I don't like it it's too bulky it, it will probably be smaller than this because now I can like pack everything in, in, in one spot and not like it's inside here it's it's a whole mess but yeah so I'm not gonna be able to to get like thousand devices and put them all in little boxes here and have them just ready for selling so if you want one here you go I'll ship you one I cannot do that I, I cannot afford to do that because I, I don't have that much coins I spent a lot already on on, on tests and failures and gears and equipment to actually get this thing done 
Um, I learned to do 3D design to make this design. I learned to do programming. I learned to do some electronics. I learned to do Bluetooth communications. Uh, it's it's been a long, long, long journey to to get the device working, and now it's it's working and <laughs> it's ready to be ordered. So um, I will be working on the devices as as soon as the orders come. Uh, they will take some time because I need to order pieces because I don't have a bunch of pieces over here. I need to order modules. I need to order. Uh, uh, PCV custom PCVs. I need to order, you know, a bunch of things. I will be able to make them once the, I receive all the pieces. But I cannot order the pieces unless somebody orders some. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for your orders. Uh, how to order? Okay, yeah, that's, that's that's an interesting thing. I think I'm gonna put it on the website or something. So yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, let, let's let, let's do this let's like do this because I just need some coins so I can start ordering pieces and and, and let's get it on uh, price mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a slow process but it, it will be happening for sure the app is already out there the device is working perfectly now all I need is to get the pieces and start making it for you guys so super excited like you guys have no idea how long I've been working on this thing to be able to see it on the App Store anyway so yeah uh, I have a list already of names that were um, of people who was testing the app their emails uh, I don't have their addresses or anything like that but uh, you know I'm looking forward to see everyone who wants to order them and <laughs> yeah let's do this so uh, I will prepare a website for you know with all this information, maybe to, to to make it more clear or something like that. If you guys have any questions, any concerns, let me know before you know we do anything. But um, yeah, just think in mind, take take in account that I'm not a huge company. This is where things are happening. I'm doing it out of my you know my little closet in <laughs> in, in in Tokyo. So mm, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to hear from you guys. Bye-bye.